Lulu told me what happened. Um, I should have never dragged you into a Spencer family drama, but I needed Spinelli to do the research, and he totally owes you. Anyway, I found exactly opposite of, of what I was looking for, and I just want to forget the whole thing. I hope you agree. I have a ton of errands. No, are you sure you're, are you, are no, you okay? No, I'm, I'm good. I left my PD at work, and I... Jason, I don't want to be here when that everyday hero story runs. Oh, Sam, you don't, you don't have to leave. This you can stay here with you. The situation with Lulu is it's personal. I don't. It's not my business. I'll be fine. I didn't tell Sam or Lucky or anybody that you're the father of Elizabeth's baby. Thank you. Yeah, well, I wanted to, though. I am so sick of hearing that Elizabeth is doing Lucky this huge favor by taking him back when in reality Elizabeth is the biggest liar of all. No, it's more complicated than that. Okay, no. yeah, yeah, it's more complicated. It's it's that Sam really hurt you and you guys were technically, you know, broken up at the time and Lucky was sleeping with Maxie and he was on drugs and that doesn't give Elizabeth a free pass, but sure, it levels the playing field. You think like Carly sometimes. Oh, thank you. I just... I wish I didn't know... Lucky is going back to his old self. He's compassionate and he is loving and he loves his family. And that junkie that yelled at me and, and was sleeping with Maxie to get more drugs is completely gone. And Lucky's trying to start over and he cares about me and I need my brother. Okay, so if it, if it means that I need to keep secret that you're the father of Elizabeth's baby. And I'll try. Elizabeth almost every single day. And she's moving across town and she's working at the hospital. What are you going to do when she walks into Kelly's with the baby? Or, you know, if you see her at the park or strolling along the pier, are you going to be able to pass by your own child? I have to think about what the baby needs. <sighs> Okay, well, when, when I was pregnant last summer and I told people that I wasn't ready to be a mother, most people gave me the same advice, to have the baby and give it to the Quartermains and, you know, have a great life. But I knew that I couldn't go through with that because the second that I actually held that child, I wouldn't be able to give it away. And what the baby needs wouldn't apply. And... You know, I wouldn't give that baby up, even if it meant I was going to be the worst mother in the world. My situation isn't exactly like yours. Okay, are you planning on holding this baby? I mean, what if the child gets sick and goes to the hospital? Are you going to go visit it? Or if you hear it crying, are, are you going to want to hold it? I mean, I don't, maybe, maybe it's very different for guys. Maybe, you know, because you didn't actually carry the child and you didn't feel it inside of you moving well, or kicking. I, I'm, I'm trying to do what's right. I know, you're, tr you're trying to be responsible and you've made your decision and I made my decision. So I have to respect that. I think about that kid all the time. You know? Whether it's going to be a boy or a girl, or what it's going to look like, or where I'm going to be when it's being born, or if I'm, if I'm even going to be able to hold my baby. Okay, I don't want to imagine what it's going to be like. I don't want to imagine how it's going to feel, so I need to stay in the present. I told Elizabeth that I would give up my child. But I don't know... How am I actually going to do it? You are not... I, I want to tell Sam about the child, but... It's my fault she can't have a baby. You're not the one who shot Sam. Sam. Ruiz shot Sam to hurt me. Okay, you're blaming yourself for something that you didn't do. When Sam first found out that I might, that there was a chance I could be the father of Elizabeth's baby, she was... She was devastated. And the reality will be even worse now because she knows that she can't have a baby. Well, maybe she'll want to be that child's stepmother because because she can't have a child. Elizabeth's not going to give up the kid. 
Okay, why is it Elizabeth's decision? You guys didn't, you know, sign anything. It's not official. You could file for custody. Not, you know what? Custody fights are not good for anybody. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to fight. I've given my word. This baby will be better off with Lucky and Elizabeth. I have uh, spent a little time together, but all you know about me is from what you've heard. You know, uh, maybe some good, probably more bad. But my life isn't really set up for a child. My work is dangerous. And things could go wrong at any time, and they have gone wrong. You're making this way too complicated. Do you want to be a father or not? I want my child with me. I want to raise it. I want to love it. But that's selfish. I have to want what's best for my child. <laughs> Everybody thinks that Elizabeth is such a saint for taking Lucky back, but if she loved Lucky, why doesn't she have a little faith in him? <sighs> Look, if, if, you, if you really think that we're being unfair to Lucky, then you have every right to tell him as long as, as, as you know you realize that it might turn out it might not turn out the way you want yeah, it to. Yeah, I, I want to believe that the truth will fix everything but if if I tell Lucky and he goes back to drugs then it's going to be my no, fault. No, that's not your fault. It's Lucky's fault. It's his decision. Lucky is a Spencer and he has that same drug and alcohol gene. My dad has it. His dad had it. It's a bonus that your kid's not well, going to have it. Who knows what's, what's going to happen. My brother uh, AJ was an alcoholic too. Well, you look enough like Lucky that people will believe the kid that it's actually his, unless the kid grows up and it, it doesn't laugh or talk or explain anything, then that's going to be a dead giveaway. Uh, maybe uh, the baby will take after Elizabeth. You know what's funny? You actually have the same color eyes as my mom. So if the kid has blue eyes, Everyone will look at it and think it looks like her. Look, you'll be so proud. How am I going to do this? <laughs> I guess sometimes keeping a secret is the best way to love someone. <laughs>